Hey guys, how's it going? This is Prophet, and in this video we're going to be talking about my first impressions of Black Ops 6 Beta. Yeah, I had some time to play it. I said yesterday I don't have time, but I do. I had about maybe an hour and a half before I had to go to work, so I thought I'd jump on and play and give you guys my first impressions. Played three games in total. This is my first game you're seeing, so I've never played it before. Didn't even play training mode because it didn't work. Like it would literally show that the game mode's locked. So I don't know how to access it. So fuck it. Let's just play it. You know, it's COD after all. What's so different about playing COD? COD's COD. Let's get the elephant out of the room, out of the way first. Uh, the Omnia movement. Did I like it? The answer is no. I don't like the Omnia movement. And that's because one of two reasons. It's a bad mechanic that's a gimmick like shoehorn in there to be a gimmick like tax stances and MW3. But I'm going to give it a different perspective. I'm going to say because the majority of the community has not mastered it yet, unless you're like a, one of these sweaty loser movement gods. Oh, I'm a movement god. I'm so good at moving fast in a video game. Yeah, no one gives a fuck. Go get a real skill. Go, go, go be a plumber or go be an electrician. Go be an engineer. Go be a doctor. Go get a skill that's impressive and respected. You know? Moving fast in a video game is just like, what a fucklet, you know? <laughs> that's what I hear when I, when I see these people making these sweaty ass movement gameplays like Nemsk and stuff. No hate towards them. Um... I just don't think it's very impressive and, you know, if you tell a girl you're a movement god, oh, I'm a movement god, I'm a movement god, oh, yeah, fuck, you know, is she going to date you? Maybe she will, but if I was in her shoes, I wouldn't. Anyway, moving on. But I also, as I said about the Omnia movement, people haven't mastered it yet. I saw some guys, you know, literally outplaying everyone with the Omnia movement, like, dudes were like, aiming and then all of a sudden they're diving to the right and getting the drop shot so it's cool that the game literally allows you to play like this which is cool and i think over time as more people master it, as we see maybe some of the professional players get used to it we'll be seeing some pretty crazy gameplay and uh for that reason alone i'm gonna say i was right that this will be the sweatiest cod ever made because once people master this omni movement there's gonna be some you know, all these boomers and super, super casual players who have no idea what the bad players, the bad players aren't going to stand a chance. There's going to be dudes reverse boosting into their lobbies and you're going to be a, a movement god and you're going to be able to shit on everyone, you know, dropping nukes left, right and center because you can outplay them and get out of their line of sight, which is cool. So whoever puts the time into this game is going to master it and I think they'll enjoy it, honestly, because... It's clearly, it's it's just clear to me that this game is definitely centered around the Omnia movement. Uh, the Jackal PDW absolutely sucks. Like, I tried to use it. I was like, oh, yeah, Jackal PDW, I'm going to use this gun. And uh, I actually gravitated towards the XM4 more. And that's because the gun feels consistent to me, but the Jackal feels consistently shit. And that's because they nerfed it, so it's not as good as you expect it to be. This game is going to be an MP5 sweat fest, and uh, every man and his dog is going to be using the MP5. And let me say, this Sigma 2B reload animation is so much better than the Sigma in Black Ops Cold War. Like, they actually put some effort into it this year. They actually put some effort into the animations. And they look great, you know, the reload animations look good. They look like they're being uh, crafted with a bit of love, you know, from people who know what they're doing to animate. Really slick, clean animations. Uh, better, Definitely better than Cold Wars, for sure. Like, you remember Modern Warfare 2019, we got the best animations we've ever seen in a game. And then Black Ops Cold War comes out and miserably fails to copy what Infinity Ward did. But yeah, uh, that was a cool moment right there, you know, rushing those guys and killing them. This Ames weapon uh, seems quite fun to use, actually, over the Jackal, for sure. Uh, the maps, you know, Babylon. I don't really notice too many issues with this map. I don't know what these guys are saying about the bad spawns in this map. You know, it's it doesn't seem too bad. You know, I don't, I don't mind this map. But Scud... I played Scud as the second game, and I purposely voted for Scud because I wanted to see if it was actually as bad as like Blame Truth and all these other guys say. Uh, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler! 
it's a shit map. The spawns are horrible. And yeah. But as this gameplay comes to end, I want to give you just some final thoughts. Based on my first impressions entirely. Is this a decent game? You know, it's not terrible, but it's also not a game I'm going to be buying. I, even if the game was good, I'm still not going to buy it. Because I just know the misery that I'm going to be experiencing when I when this game comes out. The skill-based matchmaking, the cringy skins, the sweat, the hackers, the shitty rank play mode. Oh my god, it's going to be awful. Peace.